October is already almost over. Today is the second to last spooky video. I don't know how time works. But yeah, I have a, quite a small project for today because I'm not at home from Thursday to Sunday. So I need to make something quick. But that doesn't mean it, it won't be a fun project. And what I have planned for today, today is um, arts and crafts thing skill is, is knitting. And I found a another pattern, some, some more instructions on Etsy that I thought were very cute. And I wanted to do it for myself. So this, this is what we'll be doing today. A cute tiny little spider, a knitted spider. Very cute. I like it. I bought orange yarn because I wanted to make an orange one. And then where are my needles? Right here. Some, some very tiny double pointed needles and also a very tiny crochet hook and right i also have some some black for the details for the spider and i think for now this is all we need i have knitted before i have knitted more than i have past tense of crochet i still don't know what the past tense of crochet is but that however i have only knitted clothing clothes so i've never i've never made a, a cute little friend <laughs> So this, this is in something new for me. I am very excited and I'd say, let's make a spider. Okay, I'm going to need a magic ring. I've done magic a, a magic ring before, but I forgot how it works. So YouTube tutorial it is. Okay, I think now I've done it like you're supposed to do it. And now I need to switch to knitting needles, these tiny ones. It's been a while since I've knitted and honestly, I've completely forgot how it works, but maybe it'll come back when I actually try to knit something. Muscle memory and stuff, you know, maybe, I don't know. Um, at least I kind of know what the terms mean. That's already more than with a crochet sweater. So that's something I've knitted an entire sweaters and stuff but i it's that was last year i haven't knitted for like a year and now i, I don't know how that works <laughs> wait i need to channel my inner grandma don't worry grandma is here for the rescue i think i remember <laughs> i'm struggling <laughs> with these tiny needles with the yarn, with everything. Okay, I managed to do something. And one needle fell, this will happen a lot. I already know it will. Okay, I'm pretty sure I did what I was supposed to be doing, but I'm also pretty sure that I did it very badly. I have the right stitch count. It doesn't look very great. The stitches are very loose, um, but I don't care. I'm going to continue with this now. I don't want to do it again because I'm already getting aggressive. Um, <laughs> I'm having fun. <laughs> I am. Don't worry. I'm really, I'm, I am having fun. I just also want to punch something but um yeah i'm going to continue with this and then it will work i am i am manifesting that it will work It's time for stuffing, for the first stuffing. This is the, the body of the spider. I did remember how to knit, so that's that's 
good. Just the the beginning was kind of difficult because it, it's all so tiny and, and the yarn and the needles are kind of slippery and I was... I'm chill. Everything is fine. But um, yeah, the further the, the, the project went, the easier it got. So now I'm at this point and now it's time for stuffing. I have a lot of stuffing right here that we have for some reason in our house. So I'm just going to use that. I think that's that's fine. Now, okay, now I'm going to decrease the row some more and then I think we are going to knit the head. I think the head and the body are going to be one piece. So yeah, um, but that's <laughs> that's how it looks right now. It's a shape, definitely. So, um... Alrighty, the head is now also ready for stuffing. The thing is, I kind of started going in the wrong direction when doing the spider head and I don't know why or how this even happened, but um, yeah, it's now like inside out, I guess. Look, <laughs> why? How did I even do that? Um, but when I realized, I, I realized that about halfway through, so I was already in, in too deep and um, I decided to just go with it and call it artistic freedom. This is what it's supposed to be like. Yeah, definitely. That was definitely planned. So um, <laughs> I'm going to stuff the little spider head now anyways, because I don't want to rip it all open again. By the way, this took way longer than I expected. It's again, probably due to my incompetence, but uh, yeah, it's a very small spider, a very small project, but um, it took me a while to get to this point. At least the, the shape looks all right, so I guess that's that, that's the main thing. My spider is special, okay? All right, now one more row and then we get to close this off. And then only the legs and some details left. I'm going to continue to knit this the wrong way now because switching it up now, I guess, would be even more stupid. So, um, yeah. <laughs> why, why am I always, or why am I like this? No one knows. We now again have a shape. I mean, yeah, I guess it is what it's supposed to be, look like, kind of, except for the head that I messed up. But um, I think this this might turn out to be a spider in the end. So um, what's left now is I need to make some legs, and then I need to attach those legs, and then the instruction and the instructions there. The, the spider only has six legs, and I think I'm also just going to make six. Maybe, maybe that's because why I why I like this spider, why I think it's cute. Maybe it's the the two missing legs. So um yeah, I'm also going to make six. Then I'm going to attach those legs, and then I'm going to embroider something, a, a cute little detail onto the back, and it's going to get some beady eyes. Let's do it.
We got a cute little spider with six legs and no eyes because the I had like little beads still left, but they didn't really fit. So I just decided to to do no eyes. It I mean it it won't win a beauty contest, but it is beautiful to me. So <laughs> yeah, um, that's that's it for this week's spooky crafts. I didn't do the best job with the spider and I kind of feel like I also didn't really do the best job with this video. I will probably edit this with a shaking head, but um, yeah, I'm still learning. I'm still figuring out how to make these videos as best as possible and they, they will only get better from here, I promise. And I would be very happy if you stick around. Next week will be the last spooky crafts already and it's going, going to be spooky embroidery and it will include a free pattern. That is something that I kind of been thinking I want to do with these videos or the, this channel that whenever I I make some some original art something that can be turned into a pattern for example stained glass patterns or when I come up with a cool crochet idea and I can make a pattern out of that that whenever I create something something like this then I want to give the pattern away for free to you kind of as a a thanks for watching the videos as a way of, of giving something back to you and I already have a few projects planned for after this spooky series that also will include a free pattern so if you are looking for cute arts and crafts ideas then go subscribe I have a lot of fun things planned and I promise I'm 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 still learning I'm trying my best <laughs> I'm, I'm doing my best to improve and I will for now We'll see you again next week i hope i hope you had fun with this i think it's cute like come on it's a cute little guy my camera still doesn't want to focus yeah i hope you had fun i did even though my fingers kind of hurt from the tiny needles also as my brain wasn't present but that's fine um yeah until next week goodbye